Hey, New City family. It's good to see you, kind of. Um, I hope you all are doing well and are staying healthy and um, staying in if you have to. And I know that can be a bit of a trial and you think, wow, you know, how long is this going to last? Um, it, it was pretty eye-opening just coming back um, from Israel back home here just this last week. I am in quarantine for uh, two weeks here at home alone. And I truthfully, I, I'm really kind of enjoying it. I'm enjoying a rest, but I'm also enjoying being able to take time with the Lord that I haven't really been able to sit back and just really be quiet before him. Um, as I was driving to the airport uh, in Tel Aviv, Ben Gurion Airport on Sunday, there was uh, some news that came right before we left and it was a bit distressing and being a a single person being alone and coming back to be be on my own without knowing i was going to have to be in two weeks of quarantine i started to become fearful and i i needed someone to pray for me and uh, my friends that i met there did pray for me and I realized that uh, how easy it is to enter into uh, fear, a spirit of fear, to let that gain ground and foothold in you. And then because when fear takes hold, it paralyzes you. And it, it begins to uh, rule, rule your thoughts, rule everything. And so um, as I got home, I noticed I turned on the news because I hadn't been watching the news much. And I ended up having to turn the news off because it was like too much. It was too much of um, the same thing. And it wasn't feeding me what I needed to be fed, which is faith. So I turned off the TV uh, a couple days ago and began to really get in to the word a little more and this morning I felt like uh, the Lord gave me a very short little scripture to share with you out of Isaiah 12 Isaiah the prophet usually I go to Psalms David the psalmist not Isaiah the prophet but this is actually a song of praise written by Isaiah so it says in verse 2 it says surely God is my salvation I will trust and I will not be afraid I will not tremble I will not shake, I will not fear. The Lord, the Lord is my strength and my praise song. He has become my salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Uh, those verses just struck me so strong and powerfully that number one, he is our salvation. God is our salvation. Number two, he is becoming our salvation as we are going through this, as we go through trials in this life, he becomes our salvation. Our salvation is not just in the, in the world to come, it is here and now in the present, he is becoming our salvation. And then it says, with joy, I will draw water from the wells of salvation. I realized that I was drinking from a well that was poisoned by by fear, um, by watching, by watching the TV, watching the news, um, those things that are continually being fed, fed us through that uh, media, that we need to press into the well of salvation and draw from that. And beautifully enough in this scripture, uh, the word for salvation you see is used three times. Well, the Hebrew word for salvation is Jesus' name in Hebrew. It's Yeshua. So press into Yeshua. Turn off the fear and press in with joy to the well of salvation during this time that we're closed in. This is opportunity. This is opportunity if you're closed in or if you can minister to your neighbors or friends. They need the joy of salvation. So I encourage you. I bless you. And I... I'm so excited for us to be able to come out of this different people uh, than ever before. God has got a great victory ahead. Blessings and love you all. Shalom, shalom.